What's up, people? It's your boy, Focus on Beats from FocusMusic.com, and it is here. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's beautiful. Look at that. If you don't know what that is, man, that is the, Ad the Personas Atom. It is a drum controller. Not a drum machine, but a drum controller. Works by MIDI. And it is beautiful. Now, if anybody know, while it's in green, that means that Personas is not pulled up, so it's not actually active. It's in um, MIDI mode, or whatever you want to call it. But this is it, man. This is this whole baby. And we're going to be demonstrating on this thing today. And how I use it and how I will be using it. Oh, I'm ready. Make sure that y'all tune in, man. Here we go. What's up, my people, man? Oh, it is Friday. And y'all know I love my Fridays. Now, let's go ahead and get right into this thing, man. So, um, I had a video. This that you see on the screen was my video. Uh, I created this for the video, but some kind of way my audio on it got lost. So my entire video of me making this has been lost, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you how I created this. Uh, you have no idea how upset I am. I went to upload this for today and this is from today. I did this video uh, like Tuesday and I go to post it and it has no audio on it. And so I go back and it had audio on it when I did it. Now, I don't, I don't know what happened to my audio, but yeah. So we flying off the handle here on Friday. Y'all know I usually post my videos in the morning, but for some odd reason it didn't show. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna roll on with what we got now okay so what we're gonna do i'm just gonna backtrack myself and i'm gonna show you everything that i did here since i don't have the original video all right so <laughs> so man uh i hope y'all having a good friday though so uh I, I i got the atom and i wanted to show my atom skills and in the video y'all would have saw raw unedited uh, videos of me not knowing what I was doing because this is my I've you know I've had it for a couple days now um, I didn't do my research on it I wanted to learn it in my own way I'm, I'm that kind of person for some odd reason I don't know but anyway um, so let me show y'all what I did man so um, I want to show y'all what I have hold one second Alright, so what we're doing here, I want y'all to see all of the buttons that it has here. You're looking at the shift, note repeat, you got the full, you know, you can see all of this on the thing. And I wanted y'all to see it in live and living color. It looks so good. And my camera is so dirty. But it does not matter because we here. Cool beans? Alright, so. Moving on from that, y'all have another angle that I want to show y'all, and um, this is what we're doing in this angle. So, now, I have the atom here, and I have it on output, and I have it. Right, now. I love that, man. I love that. So, um, I'll just go ahead and play out what I have here. All right. 
right, so um, this is just a little drum pattern I came up with, just a little something. Now, I want to show y'all what I did here. Now, in my other video that I lost, I was talking about a lot of the comments that I'm getting is that people want to see Studio One also. So I cannot neglect Studio One. Shout out to PreSonus, man. Y'all have a winner with this Studio One, man. I've I've done a lot of different dolls, and this doll right here is the champ for real. And so um, I want to just give that shout out, man. Y'all are in Louisiana. I'm in Louisiana too, so of course, Y'all the home team for me, and uh, I just, you know, this is an awesome dog, man. I love this dog. This is my go-to. I record in here. I produce in here. I do the whole nine in here. Um, I do everything in here, and y'all going to see videos of what I do in Studio One. So I wanted to talk about this little thing right here, man. <laughs> Now, sometimes you got to understand this one thing for me. Um, I don't know how to play a lot. I, I do everything based on what I hear, and it comes to my mind, and I kind of go from there. And so um, I use loops, and I chop them, create them, and stuff like that. Now, what you have to know is that this loop is from Saucy. Oh, what is the name of it? Saucy Loops, man. Shout out to Saucy Loops, bro. And um, they have this loop, and it originally sounds like, this let me find it right here that's what it originally sound likes but sound likes that's what it originally sound like but i chopped it up and made it Now, how did I do that, you may ask? Um, I use Sample 1, which is standard with Studio One. I love Sample 1. This is like a go-to for me. This is another go-to of mine. Um, and so what I did here is this little button right here. So if I hit this now. It'll speed up. It, the, the actual pitch has a tempo with it. So I always like to do follow song tempo right here. And now same tempo as the actual track itself, which is BPM at 130. So that's what I wanted it to do. So and what I did from there, I played a um basically like played keys on it and And so that's what I did. I played it like that. Now, I'm not going to go through everything that I did to do that because, again, um, I always do it based on what I feel. So I don't know exactly what I did. But what I can tell you is in Studio One, Sample One, you can take this actual play or this actual loop that you have here create what you want i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna just create what i did so you can kind of see what i'm talking about so i wanted to go ahead and play it out because now i can um i can show you what i did here so this thing here all right, uh, no, that's not right. I know what I did. I didn't start it at the beginning. I still did it. Um, all right, so let me go ahead and show this while I'm at it. Um, now, on the actual atom here, you have the click and the click in on the same pad here. If you hit shift, it will actually allow you to pre-click or pre-metronome or pre-count. 
and you can do the click for the click of it. So if I play, it will actually let, or if I turn it off, it'll stop, right? So um, I'm gonna leave the pre-count because I want the pre-count. That's how I want that. Now I'm just gonna play around with it. Now what I did was, as I played this, I had all these toggle buttons that you can play with. And you can animate these if you want to also. Now I'm not gonna animate for the sake of the video, but you can animate any of these. In Studio One, all you have to do is click what you wanna animate and then actually click the animate button here. It'll bring up an animation track and then you can set it to do whatever you want it to do like this so far. So if I wanted to animate that, whatever it was, the filter, let's say if I wanted to add that to it. I don't think that's what I actually chose as a matter of fact. Oh, it was the actual, it was this one. That's what I had. Um, so. So as you can see, it moves a little bit. I didn't have to do much, but that's not what I even want to do. So um, now, as I play this, I can go ahead and I can, I have all these little knobs and things that I can press around here. Uh, you have the gator. So it gives it a bounce, and I think I chose that one, but I think I did something else with it. But as you can see, you can do all these little things here. You just have to turn them on. You can uh, even EQ it. You can do the whole nine with it. So uh, you can actually throw a filter in here. You can do everything, man. And so it allows you to be really creative with this and really do a couple different things with the actual loop itself. So I can get rid of that now. And so that's how I came up with this. And so the actual drum pattern itself. Now on here, uh, now uh, first I wanna say this. Man, shout out to MVP Loops. They always have some uh, really, really dope sounds. Um, when you download this, it comes with Atomic Few presets. So you have these, uh, these different things that you can add to it in one of the banks. Now, um, in the previous video, I showed how to do that. But basically, once you purchase the uh, Atom, you go and put your serial number in. And so it also allows you to download um, the universal control. And with the universal control, um, it just basically allows you to do updates, stuff like that. So you have that ability here. All right. Now, uh, back to the, the beat here. So we went ahead. Let's go ahead and play what we got. <laughs> And the, the pads are really responsive. And so, actually, note, repeat. You select the note that you want to repeat, the pad that you want to repeat. You click on note, repeat, and it gives you this layout from 1 4th, 1 8th, 1 16th, to 132. Um, and you can play it however you want. Right? So, that's pretty cool. Now, y'all should know that this is not a drum machine. This is a uh, MIDI control pad. So it's a little different. You have to have um, the computer in order to operate it. So it does not work without the computer itself. And so it's, a, it's great for me because I have a small setup here and it does what I need it to do. Um, and so it's perfect for me. I don't have to have anything else. So... Um, you have the show and hide that'll bring up, you know, the um, the actual plugin itself. Um, now, if you're in the uh, now, if you're in here, these knobs will allow you to do the gain, 
that allow you to do the pan, you could do the pitch, and you can do the decay. All right? Now, it allows you to do that on the fly in impact. Um, it also will allow you to go to different banks. So if I can go to bank two, bank three, I mean A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H, right? So you have that ability. I like being able to do this without having to touch my mouse, so that's beautiful for me. Um, you can also go into the editor. And in the actual editor, we're going to go ahead and hide that, go into the editor. Um, it will allow you to duplicate, allow you to delete allow you to use velocity up and down um, and it will allow you to go to you can go right left up down um, also will allow you to hit zoom and then you can go left left right up down right so pretty dope stuff all right now so we'll get out of editor now if you wanted to nudge you can nudge you can set loops setups in the whole nine um, now, of course, we know I love output. That is like a go-to for me, right? And so, uh, in output, I have this set up to where I can actually... Now, I have this vocal. Let me play this first real quick here. Uh, this is out of output, too. All right, so that's uh, from output also. So now, what I want to do is I have this other one. This is landing. This is out of the chop uh, plug-in in Studio One. I mean, uh, in um, Arcade. And I'm just going to play what I have here. Right now, the dope thing about the Atom is, of course, these knobs that are up here. And so I have my set to where it will. Uh, oh, before I get to that, you can move around to different plugin. Uh, but what I want to do here is I want to uh, hold on here. I want you to stay right there. Don't you go nowhere, okay? I want you to stay right there. Now, I'm glad this is not set up. Because I actually want to, oh, let's take it out of setup. I actually want to do this on the fly. Now, to to actually go through that like that, you have to have setups uh, selected. And you can go through the different plugins. But And um, you can do so many different things. Let's hide this and show you what it does. No, hold on. All right. Anyway, I, I, I don't have time for that. Um, so what I want to do is, of course, I like my uh, macros set up here. So I'm going to go ahead and click. And I'm going to go here. That's going to be on knob one. I want to have a uh, circuit. I don't know what caused that to happen. If anybody could tell me what this is, it, it keeps popping MIDI CCs. I don't know what that is. I, mean, I don't know why it does that. But... It's very annoying. I wish it would stop. I think it's something with my M audio board. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to figure that out. But anyway, I'm going to set these up here. Now, this is all set up out of Atom. <clears throat> and you can set them up like that with the knobs. And that's it. So now that I have that set up, I want to play. See what I come up with. All right, so we're gonna um, we're gonna just animate a couple things in, just see what comes up with it. All right, so let's see um, what we get. All right, here we go. All right. 
so you gotta have your animation in. And again, that's all done from Adam, right? So now we can go ahead and play with what we got, see what it sounds like. <laughs> All right, so that's it, man. So Adam, in my opinion, is really, really, really dope for me. Um, and I say carefully for me um, because um, because of my setup and what I do. I have a very small setup here. I haven't added a lot to it. I'm, I'm just, I'm a producer and... As long as what I have was working for me and I'm still creating what I need to, I'm good. I don't, you know, I don't have a lot of stuff and my office is not that big to host everything anyway. Now, if I had a uh, studio and I could really do what I want to do, that'd be another story. But for what I have, this is a great setup. This is something that I would definitely use on a regular basis um, with... This is like my main drum controller right now. Um, I still have my Akai MPK Mini, and I still have my M Audio board, but this is the this is where I shine at. <clears throat> I'm a sample producer, man, so um, I like to incorporate a lot of different things. And if I could chop up and do different things, so y'all are gonna see a bunch of videos that come out with this thing, man, because it's added everything i needed to add for me so that's what it is man shout out to presonus for making studio one four i've had i've been persona since studio one three and i will be personas forever truly forever i don't work in any other doll i just feel comfortable here um it's about being creative and as fast as I, you know the process so i have that of course shout out to all my people at output for what y'all do, man. Um, this uh, arcade is amazing. That's it, man. That's it, man. This is a, you know, a Good Friday, man. I, I I really hate that my video was messed up, man. I'm I'm just recovering, man. I can't let y'all down, man. Y'all look for me every Friday, and I'm gonna be here every Friday regardless. So I just wanted to go ahead and come in here and make this video live on the spot, man. And hope y'all have a good Friday. And see y'all next Friday. Peace. <laughs>